Derek the V Extreme, and so glad to be back. Joining us today is Elon Musk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new era of wrestling entertainment. As many of you know, DCWL has been dormant for a decade. But let me tell you, when I stumbled upon those old matches, I felt a surge of nostalgia unlike anything I've ever experienced before. I couldn't shake the feeling of how much I missed seeing those larger than life characters, those epic battles in the room. And then it hit me, why not bring back DCWL? But I didn't stop there. No, I realized I had the means to make it happen. So, I did what any billionaire wrestling fan would do. I bought DCWL, but fear not, Derek the Beach Extreme remains the owner. And I've taken on the role of general manager. Now, I know some of you might be expecting flashy gimmicks and over-the-top productions, but that's not my style. I like things simple, straightforward, and also entertaining. And that's exactly what you'll get with DCWL. All matches will have no rope breaks as I find those things annoying. There will be frequent number one contendership matches for DCWL titles, and at the click reviews, all titles will be on the line under hardcore rules. That keeps in line with the DCWL spirit. But wait, there's more. I reached out to my good friend Nick Gemini over at NCWL, and he's graciously allowed us to use some of his top superstars to beef up our roster. So, my fellow wrestling fans, buckle up and get ready for the ride of a lifetime. I hope you enjoy the show. All right, that was some good announcements from our new general manager, Elon Musk. I'm so excited, and this is our first match back from a 10-year-plus hiatus, and we got Hawkeye. He's going to be taking on Doctor Strange, and. This is going to be such a great way to start off our show. I mean, we all know Hawkeye and Doctor Strange from, from the Avengers, and it's going to be interesting to see how they, they match things up and see how everything goes. Oh, and an atomic drop by... Doctor Strange and I mean this isn't going to be a regular thing I believe these shows from what I know they're just going to happen every now and then but it is coming back and I'm so glad we're changing things up and yeah and now Oh, backbreaker by Hawkeye. And Doctor Strange at behind, and ooh, what a back body drop. Yeah, I keep, I'm just so excited to be back and doing this. And now drop on the knee. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out of top in this Avenger fight. I mean, my money would probably be on Doctor Strange. He has the magic, whereas Hawkeye is more of a more just regular human. But I mean, in DCWL, you never know. It could go either way. Oh, an attempted clothesline didn't work. And now, again, from behind in another backdrop. Doctor Strange is holding his own and ooh look at those big punches right to the face of Hawkeye and now pick him up nope and suplex what a reversal by Doctor Strange and now going into these punches right to the face of Hawkeye yeah ooh big fist right to the back and the kick yeah oh and another back body drop yeah we're going to be seeing some new faces here it was nice of Nick Gemini to allow us to use his roster for DCWL and obviously DCWL talents are going to be here on this show as well. And, oh, a hit right at the back. And 
more hits. Close on Bale. And so we're going to get a lot of new competition. And, you know, we're going back to the basics, really. And, you know, doing, doing it how we started off. And now, Irish Whip and, ooh, another a slam. And now, Hawkeye going for more punches. Another clothesline bail. It seems like these clotheslines aren't really working out tonight. Hawkeye punches him right in the face. Goes behind and sidewalk slam. Lock up. Irish whip. Nope. And, ooh, just dropped him right on his face. And, oh, an atomic drop. Really drop him on his b butt. And from behind, oh, a hit right to the back. It looks like Hawkeye is all charged up. Knee to the face. What's he gonna do? He grabs him and big slam. I don't know what he calls that. One, two. One. Two. Oh, a count of two. The first match back and we're already getting kickouts. Man, this is this is already beefing up to be one hell of a special match. And wait, Doctor Strange. Oh, he was gonna drama gets reversed and an atomic drop right in the back. And sidewalk slam. Now, what's he doing? Oh, he's gonna go for a power bomb or something. And that reverse and now punches by Doctor Strange. And what's happening? Irish whip! And ooh, he was going he was going for like a, sh a shoulder tackle or whatever. It didn't work out. Throw by Doctor Strange. And now wait, on the top, belly to belly suplex. Man, this is a really back and forth match between these two. And it meant military press drops him. And ooh, take him down. And grapple and again military press slam weight pen. One, two, One, two. Three. Grapples him. A scoop slam. Uh, ooh, he's getting all charged up and now back and forth with these punches. Grapple. Irish whip. Shoulder block once again, not working. Going for a power bomb, it gets reversed once again. Now suplex. Oh, a front suplex. And now wait a minute, Doctor Strange. He's like he's setting up for something. Oh, the. Talk the Taz mission. Is he going to tap him out? He's... Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't get him. And... Ooh! What a slam. A 
is up. And a bear hug. Paul Driver. A shoulder tackle. Oh, he's going to go for a hit. Drop him on the knee. And I've just been given word that Hawkeye's finisher is going to be named the Bullseyes Blitz. One. Great match. And now we're getting a count on the inside. Three. The outside, I mean. Stupid misjudging your character. And a minute pinfall by Doctor Strange. One, One two, two, four. count two. Sidewalk slam. And, and Dr. Strange finisher is called the Astral Apex. Close line down. So, yeah, we get that out of the way. And close line to the back. Well, not close line to the back, but hit to the back. And I'm getting messed up. Scoop slam. And, yeah. Now, oh wait, it looks like he's going to go for it again, this time from behind, and ooh, I don't know who that, but pinfall, one, two, one, three. three, and Hawkeye Pin. wins, man, that was a great match. Man, what a great match up between these two. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't even know what he calls that move in specific. We knew the name of his other one named Bullseye Blitz, but yeah. And now we move on to our second match of the night. Maverick and Goose versus the Beatdown Inc. Which is Beat and... TJ Combo, and they're taking on Maverick and Goose and Top Gun. I mean, as you can see, that there are lots of NCWL superstars here, and I mean that's intentional because, like I said, like was said before in the beginning, we have. I mean, it's sort of a hybrid roster between. ECWL and NCWL and pretty much all the, it, the CWLs <laughs> and yeah so now we start off and yeah it looks like Beat is going to be starting off here and we're getting a bunch of timing back and body drop I mean, I haven't watched Top Gun in a long time, but I am familiar with TJ Combo, and I remember him in Death Battle where he fought Balrog, and he actually won that. So, I'm very familiar with the, his, his style of fighting, and... I wonder how all that is going to translate here into this match. I mean, Top Gun, they're known for their, their, their brutal nature and their daredevil antics where they 
They go by their own rules and not necessarily others' rules. And now, to the back. With us to drop. Oh, now attack in. And now we're getting all out of there. With all four men in here. And now we got Goose taking on Beat and now even it. Boom. A double power drop. With Goose taking on Beat in here, that leaves Maverick taking on TJ Combo, and now he gets out. Now wait a minute, Beat, Fisherman Suplex 1, one. and only a 1. And that was his finisher as well. And, you know, we're gonna get... Um, one more updates on all these Two. games as we go along. You know, it's first time Three. back. And so no need to to be all uh, Russian getting your feet back. It's it's been ten year ten plus years since DCWL has been back. And now Goose is fighting Beat, and now, ooh, now Beat gets him in a leg on heel hook, to be exact, and he looks, oh, he's going to go for a kick and gets reversed to that atomic drop, to the balls this time, and Beat elbow drops, punches him down, I think. Goose was going for something but didn't plan out. And multiple kicks. Kicks. Hits. And they're really going at it. And TJ Combo and Maverick have been fighting on the outside for a while now. They're not letting them out each other. And hey, who's to stop them? He is is going, going to town, punching away at Goose. And, again, they're still fighting each other on the outside. And, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Beat is, Beat is feeling it. What's he going to do? Beat. He goes for a drop. Oh, a missile drop kick and he gets reversed. Oh, wait. He gets his finisher. One. Two. One. TJ Combo win. Man, what a good matchup. Our first tag team match back, and we got we got Beatdown Inc. beating Top Gun. And I mean, this is great. What a great match, and I mean, we might see something between TJ Combo and the like, because they were fighting outside for a while, and now we have our next matchup of the night, where we're going to be seeing, we're seeing Captain Future taking on Mr. T, and Mr. T, he's a, a returning DCWL superstar, and And now Captain Future is out, and now here's the return, Mr. T. Man, what a great, great time to be back. And Mr. T, I mean, this has been a while. I mean, I mean, you can say that Captain Future has had an interesting time in NCWL and he could say maybe he's been working 
somewhat regularly there, but Mr. T, he hasn't been working one in DCWL two, for, like I said, for almost over a three, decade. And four, now they're on the outside. Five. In the five count, there will be, well, there is gonna be no rope breaks, there will be count, count outs. No, but a bunch of chops to the head. Now elbow drop to the back, drop kick reverse, punches. And they're going for all these drops. And now chops right to the head. Mr. T is getting a lot of good offense in. Dropping the knee into that. And tonight we will have a number one contendership match for the DCWL title, which is going to be Bobby Caldwell versus Ultron. So yeah, that's a, gonna be a great main event. Now hip toss by Mr. T. And yeah. So wait, from the back, punch the back. And grabs him and Ooh, what a hit. Well, close on to the back. And I punch the back. And wait a minute, it looks like Mr. T is setting something up. What's he gonna do? Grounds from behind. Wait a minute, what's he doing? Wait a minute. He just hit. He hit Captain Future's finisher. The Navarana driver. One, two, One, three. Three. Mr. T wins. Wow, quick timing, too. If he did so. With Captain Future's own finisher, the Nova Rana Driver. And there's a replay of that. Wow. Quick timing. But, I mean, you know, Mr. T doesn't get paid by the hour. And, yeah, it looks like he hasn't missed a step, like we would think. Oh yeah, brother, we are back in the house and ain't it good to feel the gold around our waist once again. Ah, it is good, Macho Jeff, but I cannot help but notice. DCWL domination, it is not what it used to be. Hey now, Jeep, don't go getting your muscles in a twist. Sure, we might be shorter men than before, but as long as we've got these babies, ain't nobody going to doubt our dominance. The rest of the members may have flown out, but Macho Jeff and Zane Jeep, we're still the baddest duo in the game. You had better be right, Macho Jeff. We have worked too hard and come too far to let our legacy fade away now. Trust me, comrade. Macho Jeff always delivers. Get ready to crush some skulls and show these punks why DCWL domination reigns supreme. Oh, man, what an interesting development with Macho Jeff and Zangief of DCWL domination. And now we have our next match of the night, which is Lola Bunny versus... And yeah, this is gonna be our first Divas match back. And Lola Bunny, I mean, I will say I didn't like her appearance in Space Jam really. I preferred the 2011's Looney Tunes show. And I think they really fleshed out her character great. And Shu Ying is a returning DCWL character. She only got to have like one match. Prior, and it was on the final, the farewell show. And so, I mean, she doesn't have much more experience. And, I mean, it's been more than a decade. And Shu Ying is going to town. Punching. Punching. And, oh, low blow attempt by Lola Bunny. And, back body drop. I mean, we all know that Lola Bunny is a bit crazy. She can have an obsessive nature, and will that translate to gold down the road? Because, I mean, you sort of do have to have an obsessive nature when you are in the wrestling business. You have to want the gold and want to be on the top of the mountain and want to aggressively pursue the gold. And, uh, yeah. So, 
Let's just see how it all translates. I mean, it'll be interesting to see more of Shu Ying and see how she can do these moves and how she... Hopefully she can build more of a career up. Oh, what a poke to the eye. What a dastardly move by Lola Bunny. Yeah, I mean, we all know Looney Tune characters can't, are known for their underhandedness. I mean, we all see the Wily e. Coyote. And I mean, she is Bugs Bunny's love interest. So, I mean, hey. And, oh, now that little girl looks like a slap. Headbutt. And punches. And wait, pick it, no, another low blow. Well, there's not going to be any disqualifications for low blows in DCWL. There never has been before. At least not to my knowledge. And wait a minute. Ooh, what? The lettuce is up from shooting. Punch right in the face. And now that heel hook. You've been seeing that in DCWL matches previous to this. And punches. And back body drop. Now Shu Ying picks him up, grabs her, and Irish whip. And ooh, what a clothesline turn to blow the bunny inside out. I mean, we all know that Looney Tunes characters, they have a very impressive durability. They have the tune force on their side. And I, mean, I wonder how the little bunny could translate that. I know Xu Ying is a woman of honor and class. She's very fit athletically. And she's going up the second rope and a leg drop. She likes doing yoga and in training. She's a very classy woman. And ooh, what a neck breaker. It looks like sort of a rude awakening move. Grabs her, Irish whip into the corner, and Lola Bunny stops her, stops in that track to stop herself from completely being her up. And now back on drop. And ooh, what a rock uh, people's elbow. Oh, punches, punches, and oh, I think she's going for a jawbreaker, but he's kicked off for her trouble, and now slaps, another exchange of blows, and now another poke to the eye. Like I said, the Looney Tunes characters are known for being a bit under her, and ooh, what a kick, oh, wait, it looks like she, Little Bunny might be on Dream Street, and now, wait a minute, grabs her power bomb. By picking her up again, what what's Shu Ying gonna do? Another power bomb! It looks like Lola Bunny is almost knocked out. One, One two, two, three! three Shu Ying wins! I mean, how impressive is that? She hit that? That kick was the turning point right to the gut. It just about. I think her head hit the mat hard and that just about knocked her out. Or some like if you hit in the gut, you know, just staggered her. And those extra power bombs are what finished her off. Man. Well, Shu Ying wins. And now this is our main event of the night. It is going to be Bobby Codwell versus Ultron. The winner of this will go to the DCWL click per view. And it's going to determine who fights Michael Vick for the PCWL World Title. And Bobby Conwell was just out here. And now we get Ultron. And Ultron, I mean, from what I know in NCWL, he was a bastard. He, he really challenged 
of Nick Gemini's rule and authority. And his rules are just devastating. But, I mean, that's an NCWL. This is DCWL. And, I mean, we have to take into consideration that there is a huge weight advantage for Ultron. And I wonder how that's going to play out. Spoiler look at that, punches. I mean, Ultron's made out of metal. And, and I mean, he can't be so easily... Wait a minute. Ooh, just got slammed. Whoa. Thanks for proving me, Ma. Bobby Potter on that grabs him and pick him up. Again, in back body drop. And what that later bomb by Bobby Potter into the back. And now it looks like he's getting a good upper hands on Ultron. Grabs him and wait a minute, he's gonna go for a scoop save again, and he did it once again. Man, I don't think Ultron was expecting this. And now again, going from the back, and again. Now, a minute, pick him up, going behind, and. Ooh, that net breaker. Pin one, two, one, two, two, count, count two. two. That was a finishing net breaker sort of move. Like a saving grace sort of net breaker. And again, drops him. Bobby Popwell is on a roll with Ultron. Grabs him again. And another bad body breaker. And kick. Punch. And Ultron with an arm. Kick. Now, I mean, it picks him up. And, oh, no, he can't get a miss now. I mean, he can only do that so many times. And now, oh, what a kick to the face. A Booker T like kick to the face. And now, Ultron grabs him. Oh, and what a kick, what a punch right with a throw. And all these strikes to Bobby Caldwell. I mean, Bobby Caldwell is a great singer, but he is not as experienced of a fighter as Ultron is. Ultron was literally bred to fight and made the fight. You could say better. And now, Ultron grabbing him. Grabs him behind. And sleeper, sleeper drop. One, one, and only a one count. Man, grabs him by the and again he puts him in the drop in his head. I mean that he might have knocked him out. One, two, one, three, three. And he did. Three. Wow, yeah. Bobby Caldwell. He's going to go on to fight Michael Beck at the next ECWL CPB. Man, what a great showing by Bobby Cockwell. I mean, it's going to be a difficult fight for him for sure when he goes against Michael Beck. Michael Beck is a very dominant champion in his own right. And I mean, he's a dominant in football, and speaking of the devil, our DCWL champion, Michael Vick, is coming out, and it looks like he wants to make it known that he's the champion, and that Bobby Conwell is going to be facing him. And, well, that is all for this show. Can't wait to see you next time. I'll see you next time.